Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We have now unlocked the Forgotten. We did it in the last episode. It was actually a pretty easy process. We played it as Azazel. We had to do a few restarts at the start, but honestly we got there pretty quickly. It was uh, it was pretty decent. Um, I'm going to jump right into the question of the day today as soon as I think of one. Because that would be... Okay, here, here's a good one. What is a What's a brand that you will never ever ever purchase again what is the brand that's wronged you so badly that you will never purchase again and i don't mean like nestle because everyone knows that they're absolutely the worst company on earth it's cheating to say nestle oh spoon bender nice if you say nestle while very very true everyone on earth hates nestle and if you don't you're a bad person <laughs> um so that kind of that's kind of a cheating but um who, what's a company that's, that's like wronged you that you will just never ever touch ever again? And that's a really good one. Um, like I, I always like questions of the day. I, I try to ask ones where there's just like a high chance of very varied answers. Um, where I'm going to be reading some really interesting stuff from you guys. Obviously, there's a few of you that comment regularly. What the hell, haunted chest? Excuse me. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I get that? Yeah. I'm at a bomb for that. I really want it. I really want it. It's very, very good. Um, that would also be good. Still keep forgetting to remove this goddamn fire replacer. I'm sorry. It's not a big deal, I suppose. It's not a big deal. Gimme, gimme. Yeah, um, I like to answer question, uh, ask questions of the day that just have a high chance of being very varied. And this is definitely one of them, because everyone's going to have a different company that's probably wronged them in the past. I'm trying to think of my of my uh, my answer to that, because I don't particularly have any that are that bad. I, I actually can't remember the company's name now, just because I haven't bought anything from them in so long. But a while back, I did have... Uh, I, by a while back, I mean like when I was younger... Um, when my parents were buying the food, I told us to never buy this type of yogurt again because we once got a packet of yogurts that was like well within date, hadn't been opened, and I opened up the yogurt that was still fully sealed. Like there was no way, no how that it wasn't fully sealed. Um, and I opened it and I just put my spoon in and took a mouthful without looking. And I... T for one, tasted something pretty horrific, but I also felt something pretty horrific, and that was a nice, layery film of fur on my tongue. Literal mold that was on my tongue, and that, that, that put me off pretty incredibly, and I was like, yeah, never ever trust this company again, never buy anything from there, but it's actually been that long that I don't even remember what company it was. <laughs> okay, this was a pretty succinct room. Uh, also, we do have a tainted treasure room, which I'd very much like to partake in, um, if given the opportunity. Um, because I'm pretty sure that will be the reverse version of Spoonbender, which I don't believe I've seen, and I also do believe will likely be better for this character. Because Spoonbender, as this character, isn't really that good, unless we manage to get some way of, um, firing tears on the regular, because the only way Spoonbender's gonna matter is, um when we throw our burn, which honestly we're not going to be doing all that often. So let's go back now and check it out. I don't know what the reverse version of Spoonbender does. The tainted version, should I say? Um, I can't remember. Also, uh, each time an enemy fires a projectile, has a one-fifth chance to reverse direction and become a homing tier. That sounds really good. By the way, I do also realize that some of you are going to be very annoyed that I used a bomb earlier to get to the um, wooden thingy, because I could have just done this. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. That is something that will happen likely a lot because I always forget how to use this version of him. Of course, Spoonbender is useful for that version, but I'll be honest, what's the point in playing the Forgotten if you're not going to use the burn? Like, the burn's the funnest thing about him, man. You've got to use the burn. Charm of the Vampire is pretty good here. Good, good, good. We need to get to our next level of shop as well. I charm the vampire for a small, but not insignificant damage up. And, of course, the healing. Oh, dude. Come on now. 
Don't lose a bone heart here. Now, this is the sort of time where I should be using my dude to uh, try and escape losing a bone heart. Good, good. Drop us a heart game, you know you want to. And there's the heal. Doesn't matter, we got the heal. Good, good. Got all the stuff we needed there. And yeah, I think Fork Bender is probably going to be better for us in general than Spoon Bender. As you can see, one fifth tears get returned back. That's not like a lot, but for bosses that fire a lot of tears, it could be pretty pretty um, consequential in the end. Eye Drops is pretty good here. We can steal a Devil Deal here because we have one Soul Heart. So let's have a little look see. Um, it's not amazing, but I might steal it just for the precedent. Nice. And honestly, let's take that as well. Wait, did I? Ah, oh, idiot. I wasted my eternal heart. I kind of forgot that I got an eternal heart, I'll be honest. That was a complete waste. Oh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's keep her going, shall we? Let's keep her going. Okay. This room we probably should just change over. We did get our eye drops, which is really nice for our fire rate. I love enemies that fire like cross tiers like that that get instantly returned back to them. That's so funny. Ooh, very good room here. This could be, yeah, that's our soul heart at least. Lovely. And, oh, that was so stupid of me. Oh, bugger. I, for some reason, didn't acknowledge that the other chest was a stone chest and just wasted it. I've made many very minor mistakes in this episode already that all of you are going to hate. I just know it. You're, you're, you're sat there seething with rage at my inability to do basic tasks. Lost my holy mantle there. See, there's another one. So I missed out on that stone chest for no reason there. I will come back and bomb it if I get enough bombs to warrant that. I do not like this. Luckily, honestly, Charm of the Vampire, I think it's every 15 kills you get healed. It's, it's doing, doing us a pretty decent job here, I'll be honest. Oh, hello. Why did I even... That's another heal. Yeah, the heals are coming in, like, really, really quickly. It's very nice. Pretty, pretty much every time we need one, right on cue, we get one. We did get a bomb back here. Polly, no thank you. Good, good. Actually gave us some spiders as well. Lovely. Nice, nice. Have we seen our item room yet this floor? We haven't. We'll be on the search for it. I love the way Fat Bats look now with that little sort of double chin they got going on. These guys did hatch, but into enemies that aren't all that bad for us. Nice. Charge key. First one we've seen after unlocking them. Nice. That was super, super stupid. Glass D2. Right. Keep it moving. Run is pretty good so far, I think. I will go into the shop to see if I can buy some HP just in case. Yeah, I'd rather not lose my burn heart if plausible. Let's go. All the I hate it when you miss the item room by, like, just a small bit like this. And you have to go all the way back with base speed to find your bloody item room. It's just... Ugh. Good. Well, hand, no thanks. Ooh, extra soul heart. Although extra soul hearts aren't that good for us, to be honest, because we um, going to be trading away for devil deals at some point. I got a heal right as that guy hit me then. I'm going to let you guys shoot yourself. 
You'll die eventually. There you go. Bumber? Do we want Bumber? He's pretty cute. He's a pretty good fella. Yeah, I'll take Bumber. I will take Bumber. Good, good, good. Let's get going. I'll go to my cash room as well here. Why not? Stars and the world. I guess I can pop the world just to, yeah, there you go. Find my secret room. Really, one of those got me. God damn it. Luckily, we got the heal back at the right time. And I'm just going to exit with this guy because I'd rather save the HP there. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Many, many misplays have been brought forward on this episode thus far. Many of them that will annoy all of you a lot. But, unfortunately, you just have to sit back and accept because I can't hear you. And I won't see your comment until a few days later. Well, no, I'll see your comment immediately as you reply it, most likely, but I won't reply to it for a few days later. And only then will I realize my failings. But to be fair, most, most of the failings I've had on this episode, I've realized immediately my failings. So at least I've recognized my failures. Yes, and that's going to give us damage right now. Yes, it is. Only a small amount, but it is giving us damage. Um, D6. Oh, that's not really good. I'll still take it anyways. Right. Speed down is horrible. Bombsai key is annoying. And look up's pretty good. Bombsai key is kind of annoying. I could have gone back to that stone chest, I realize. Do you know what? I just don't care enough. Hmm. Damn it, double spiders. Extra soul heart here. Wow, straight away. Um, tier chance. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Because um, it's going to give us the tier rate, but it doesn't really matter for the apples because we're going to be swinging most of the time anyways. So it's not that big of a downside. I just like the extra tiers up. And we get a scratcher here. I'll take for a single penny. Adjustment's pretty good for the keys. And temperance we don't need. At the moment, at least. We're getting one slam in on these guys. Bouncing them away. And then getting the next later on. Working well enough. We need to feed up Bombino here. Good old Bumbo, my good friend. He's uh, wasting away over there. Not a single penny in his mouth thus far. It's a, it's a real travesty for him, to be honest. He's probably crying. I see you there, you little fella. Yeah, he's probably wasting away crying right now, so... I need to give him some attention. But, alas, he does not get it yet. There you go, there's your first penny. He's at least satisfied enough for now. Oh, another scratcher? That's decent. Yeah, I'll take it. Plus two luck. Can't remember what, I think it gives us a 1.5 times luck multiplier. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent. <laughs> it could have also given us the, the poker chip trinket, but honestly, wooden cross is just too good to give up right now. That's going to hit me. Oh my god, it didn't, and I don't know how. Mr. Boom's pretty good here, honestly. Especially with the, uh, the, the rock spider item thingy. We can just generate more and more spiders. Didn't really work as I planned it to, but there you go. Right, extra heart there. Thank you. Item room again eludes us. Lovely. Okay, these guys are going to be kind of annoying. I'm hoping the return shots do a good job for us. The good thing about the return shots as well is it's just less shots fired at us. Less stuff for us to deal with, so... Really don't mind it at all. Does that one have the existential dread face, then? I'm pretty sure it did. You have that, my good friend. 
And again, my good friend. He still hasn't ranked up yet. It's very upsetting. And here we go. Boil Baby. It's not very good, but it does kind of look like Sister Maggie if she got her head chopped off and it swelled up. So we'll take it because funny. Right. This run's a bit humdrum right now. There's nothing super cool about it. The Tainted Treasure is probably the best thing we've got so far, and it's, at least so far, it's been fairly ineffectual. It's not really done too much to better our run. What the hell is that? 25% chance for a blue fly to turn into a locust of war. Damn, if only that was spiders, that's actually really, really good. But I think unless we get a, a way of spawning blue flies more often, it's not going to be that all that useful for us. There you go. He was very easy. Good old dark one. Unfortunately, whipped cream doesn't do much for us at all, apart from make us look like a goofy goober. I'm still going to stick my wooden cross here, but that is a really cool trinket. I just wish we had ways of generating flies more regularly. At the minute, we don't have any. Crack that open. Forgotten versus forgotten there. The ultimate battle. Good. Okay, very, very easy room here for us. Lovely. Let's get gone. My, my little dude still isn't leveled up. It's upsetting. Ah, there goes my holy mantle. But that's why we've got it. That's why we've got the holy mantle. Just as a just in case. As a just just in case. At the minute, I'm on a bit of an Isaac grind. Because I'll be honest, I've been like having a little bit of a downer on Isaac at the minute. Like not in a big way, but there's just not really been any new content in a while. There was the mod gem, which added some new characters, which are pretty interesting. But that, their enjoyment is fairly fleeting. You kind of play them once or twice and you're like, cool. And you kind of move back to playing the normal runs. It doesn't add too much longevity, in my opinion. Um, obviously, Tarnished characters are fun, but we're unlocking those fairly slowly right now. We've got other stuff to unlock too. So I'm not going super hard on those yet. Um, pop the sun card in this next room. Why not? Um, so it's like, it's a little bit of a downer. Um, I'm just kind of waiting for the next sort of big thing to come along if there is one to sort of reinvigorate. But I'm, I'm still enjoying the game. But um, so obviously the, um, the lack of sort of new content recently paired with the fact that honestly, Isaac is doing quite literally horribly on my channel right now. Um, <laughs> like, if you compare it to how it used to do, at least, it's doing horribly. Um, it's eh, it's a little bit of a burner on, uh, on the old Isaac front. So it's... I'm definitely not wanting to stop playing it at the moment. I'm still enjoying playing it. But, like, I kind of, I've kind of been, like, putting it off, putting off recording it in favor of some other stuff recently. Um, and... Now I'm on a bit of a Isaac kick where I'm going to get back into it and try and build a healthy backlog. Because I think basically the problem is I need reliable breaks from Isaac to sort of keep my enjoyment going and sort of have a return to it and really sort of get going with it again. But I think to do that, I need to have breaks from Isaac. Um, as I just said, I need to sort of have those breaks. And what I meant is, is to do that, I need to have a backlog. Um, of episodes ready to go and at the minute basically for the past like maybe two or three months I've, I've had a very small and unreliable backlog it's been like two maybe three videos max whereas I used to have a backlog of like 10 videos um, and I think I need to get back to that level of backlogging in order to just be able to oh god oh god oh god oh god really a rainbow champion dropped a single key and that's it um in order to just be able to, like, thoroughly enjoy the gameplay a little more. So what I'm going to try and do is, I'm going to try and play it a lot over the next few days. Get a good amount of it. Really? The poop? The poop? I went all the way back for the poop. Um, going to play a good amount of it. Get a healthy backlog going. And then I could sort of have a break for a few days, whatever. Then come back to it a bit more reinvigorated. Do another sort of longer recording. Get a bit of backlog going. And kind of do that back and forth to hopefully increase the longevity of the game and um, increase my enjoyment of it. I'm still, like I said, enjoying it a lot. And the, the new save file is definitely fun. It's just, oh, it 
like, I'm really not a big sort of, oh, views are all that matters sort of person, but it is a little bit of a downer when you go from, like, getting 2.5k views an episode every single day to getting, like, 600 or less. I still very much appreciate all of you that are watching and um, for you people that are still watching it's it's always um, it's always nice to have these regular viewers. A lot of you that are still watching now are people that have been with me for a long time and I, I respect that and I'm very very happy that you're all still enjoying the series and enjoying the commentary. Um, but it is, it's still just one of those things. It's, it's kind of one of those things you've got to like just not think about because I'm like, like if you start thinking about it you're like what am I doing different what am I doing wrong and you try changing stuff and you try pan you're panicking you're like changing your thumbnail style like I did and <laughs> doing all these sort of different things and at the end of the day none of that shit really matters it's just Isaac is just n people aren't watching it as much that that's simply that's it there's other games coming out Isaac's old it just kind of is what it is Ooh, this item is very good. Good, good, good. Huge damage boost there, 5.51. I like it. I like it a lot. But Isaac's one of those things for me where... Oh, we got another tainted treasure room here. Awesome. Um, Isaac's one of those things for me where I can... Oh, fucking tell a fragging little bitch. Um, I can just play it endlessly, like, and have... Like, have it as a platform to commentate. Um... I'm going to take that, yeah. Ooh, what the hell? It's reflected. Plus one black heart, 1.5 damage. Does it? Does this give me this again? Oh, wait, this one, the reflected one doesn't actually exist. Okay. Maybe if I walk out and then back in again? No. Fair. <laughs> okay, that's pretty decent. Good amount of damage there. Uh, we are going to see Necronomicons every now and again here, uh, which is okay, I guess. I might even take one of them. We're near the end of seeing our, all of our item rooms anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Blood bag. But yeah, like, I, I don't really have any sort of plans to stop Daily Isaac um, at the moment. But I am sort of thinking about the future and thinking, like, what am I going to do when I stop Daily Isaac? This has been, like, my life now for... Getting on for like two years of Daily Isaac, is, I think it's like a year and a half now, maybe a little bit over um, since Repentance came out. So it's been it's been a really long while. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see sort of where it'll take me. Basically, I've got either two ideas. Either I pick a random game that I enjoy and is doing decently well on YouTube and make that a daily series and just play that until that dies. Or... I go back to how I used to do YouTube before Repentance and just do multiple series like two to three times a week um, and don't have any daily series and get more variety. Or I do what Alexa's sort of doing right now, which I've been talking to him about, and have series that are like daily, but only daily for like two weeks and we move on to another game and we go sort of cycle through games like that. I like that approach the most. The only problem with that approach is if there's a particular audience that gets really attached to one series, it's going to be a real burner for them when I go, hey, this series isn't going to be back for like two months. Also, so many scratch cards. What is going on? Yeah, I, I, I don't really want to take like the core. I, I got this again. Wow, okay. Uh, that's a lot of luck. Um, I don't really want to be the dude that... Um, takes you guys' favourite series and kind of locks them behind. Oh, uh, they're only going to be here for a week. And especially the all like the fact that a lot of you are here for Isaac. Uh, a lot of you that are still here are here because of Isaac. It's it's difficult. It's it's, it's, a, it's a dilemma. Um, at the end of the day, I'm always going to play what I enjoy. And I still, in, I, I still thoroughly enjoy Isaac. Let's take a Necronomicon. Um, I still thoroughly enjoy Isaac. So it's not going away anytime soon. Do not worry. But I just, I'm just sort of curious if it will pick back up or if it's just on the decline. Who knows? Who knows? It's really something I ought to not worry about. Because the more I worry about it, the more I get myself into a, a state of worrying about it more. And it's just, it's it's all, a, it's a bad cycle to get into. What we got down here? Fortunately, nothing we can buy, apart from a black heart, but I don't think that's really worth buying, to be honest. 
But yeah, Isaac's just got so many twists and turns and so many things that, that keep it enjoyable. Um, ooh, 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 do we have we have hearts on the floor? Let's play this. I think that'll take a burn heart, so I have to go and heal up. But these chests pay out big. It's worth uh, it's worth doing our due diligence here to pay it forward. Okay. Right, might have to go quite far back here to get some more hearts, but it's worth it. I wish I knew if it didn't take soul hearts or not, uh, um, burn hearts, sorry, but I just don't know. That might be pretty good. The extra spiders. Might take that. I'm undecided yet, but I might take that. Also, let's grab this real quick and see if we can do something with that at some point. Petrified poo. Not super useful on this floor. I've also missed boss rush here, but eh, it is what it is. Okay, we have a lot of hearts here, but this is a lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. So I, I don't know if I want to go through with this. But considering we're, uh, we're already late for boss rush, I don't care that much. I'm definitely not going to do hush, I don't think. Not on this run. Do you know what? I am going to take the uh, the fish thingy. I think it'll be better. Right. Come on, chest. Give me what I want. There you go. Opened. Okay. Two soul hearts and a soul of Eden. Pretty good. Do like a soul of Eden. It's very, very nice. What we got here? Yes, I'll take that. Good stuff. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Good to go. Curse the blind. Could be an interesting time to use Soul of Eden just on the boss fight. See what happens. Kind of a bit of a gamble. I think I'm going to go Cathedral this time around because I need to get um, Blue Baby unlocked and the Polaroid. I haven't done that yet and it's been fucking ages. I've been doing so many other stuff, but I think this is a good time. Even though we have the negative, I still think it's a good time to go for that. Yeah, like I said, it's just... It's been a long time coming and we haven't done it yet, so. I'm waiting for a large room to use the Necronomicon, really. I'm sure there's some big rooms out there that'll be very good for this. I'm sure there's a lot of dead ends as well. Lovely. Good old dead ends. But yeah, you, YouTube's a difficult thing. You, you just gotta not get bogged down too much in the statistics of it all. And just, unless you're doing it for a job, of course, where it actually matters. But um, if you're just doing it as a hobby like I am, you really can't be, like, spending your time fretting, worrying about views. Basically, as long as even 100 people are watching my videos, I'm pretty happy. And, like, there is not a single video that I ever upload that gets less than 100 views. So, I'm, I'm very happy about that. Okay, we did just get hit, but thank God there was a heart there waiting for us. Lovely. God damn, our damage is pretty skyrocketed now. Fortunately, we have the worst enemies to ever exist in this room. We've just got to be patient and wait for them to pop their tail up, which might never happen. Luckily, it happened pretty quickly with those guys, but sometimes it can take much, much longer. Nice. Don't think I need that. We are sweeping our way through the rooms at this point. Sweeping our way through. Don't much like you. Yeah, I kind of knew you were going to hit me. 
just gonna quickly go back and get this heart over here just so i don't lose a burn heart i've been kind of flying by the seat of my pants with the uh amount of health i've been on this entire run and it's been a little bit risky but it's been okay unfortunately bumbo wasn't really a great grab because he's not really done much for us he's not done too much at all he's a good fellow though we like him This boss annoys me because it's just got the, like, longest spawning animation of all time. Oh my god. How am I even meant to avoid that, my good sir? There you go. We got him. We got him. Yeah, let's just Soul of Eden here and see what we get. Friend Folio. Decent. Not bad at all. Probably would have been a better way to use that, but oh well. That's rather nice. That's rather nice as well. Good, 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 good. That was pretty decent. One makes you large is pretty good because that increases our swing size. We've now got a swing so large that it shakes the room. I very much like that. Is that a foil card? It is, isn't it? I don't know what this does, but we'll find out. It made an item room for us. I like that. Oh, it made an item room right next to the boss room, too. Uh, Snake Familiar, nah. Looking for something that augments my tears are burned somewhere. Gemini, nah. Beaver... It's pretty bad for us, I think. Oh, Wafer, Wafer. Oh, I blew up the machine. Luckily, I got Wafer in time, though. That's hugely important right now. Right, remember that we're going to go to the Cathedral here. It's going to be a slightly shorter run because of that, but still. There you go. Nice and quick kill there. The marrow has been unlocked. Lovely. And up we go. For a nice, quick, and speedy Isaac kill. Especially when we can do that to certain annoying rooms. I just gotta hope we're going the right way. I really like the fact that you get your burn to a certain size and it starts fucking shaking the room. Makes me feel like such a boss. Right, go this way, I think. Certain rooms I don't think we need to use the Necronomicon for. Rooms like this, however, very annoying. Good. Big Bernie boy. These guys have a lot of health. These purp hat looking fellas. You're rather annoying. Oh, I didn't realize I could stop you with a bomb. That's kind of interesting. Hey, we actually got an angel item from these guys for once. So rare that that actually happens. Normally, I just get given a soul heart and it's like, bugger off. Love that. At least open that. It didn't quite finish off the room for us here, but... Did a half-decent job. Getting a lot of chests. Good. We should be on the way to the boss here. Yeah, I'm liking a, a, a twinkling eye. I'm not quite sure what item's giving us that effect, but it's nice. I do see that Dom Mick there, but honestly, does it look like we need a Dom Mick right now? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I'm very happy I didn't man manage to get hit there. Okay, that was very minimal damage, unfortunately, but let's go. I'm trying to stay close because obviously good damage, but also Boil Baby can get in there. And Boil Baby, I know it's not going to be doing 26 damage a swing sort of thing, but it's doing a pretty good amount of damage, to be honest. It's not bad. There you go. Easy kill on Isaac. One closer to unlocking 
the um, Polaroid. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.